my gosh. Hi guys. So, um, it's super late at night. Um, like I probably said in a lot of my videos because I have trouble, trouble, uh, I also have trouble speaking in the summer, but I have trouble sleeping in the summer because right now, oh, I have a text message. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to ignore you. It's 2.36 a.m. And I was listening to Demi Lovato's single, Skyscraper, and I love that song so much. I heart it. So, I looked at it and I was like, I want to do makeup by it. I didn't even, like, look up anybody else's tutorials. I might have, that might have been helpful if I would have, but I didn't. So this is my take on it. Um, it's not exact, so if, it's, if, if you think I did a horrible job of replicating it, then don't think of it as, you know, her inspired look. Just think of it as a neutral makeup look. How about that? So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's get started. First thing first, you guys, I'm going to be taking this Hip, okay, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be using this a lot because I love this stuff so much. Um, the Hip Duos L'Oreal Paris in the color Adventurous. And I'm going to be taking, ignore my hand, it's kind of messy. She's like, my cat's like a two-year-old, I swear. I'm going to be taking this brown color right here. So, yeah, and I'm going to be using this kind of brush. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be used for, but it's what I'm going to use. Hold on. I don't know why, but for some reason I was trying to balance my computer while I did this. But anyways, I'm going to take that color, and I'm just going to take that brush I just showed you that I'm not really 110% sure what it's supposed to use for. Then I'm going to pack it onto my eyelid. Um, if you can really tell that that did much of anything, um, it's just kind of like a base color, so it doesn't really have to show up that much. And I'm going to be using this quite a bit too, it's my Country Woods CoverGirl Quad, and I'm going to be taking the second color here, and it's kind of a goldy shimmery color. And instead of using my brush this time, I'm going to use the sponge tip applicator brush that comes with it. And it's just, I'm just weird and I like using those. Some other people might, but most beauty gurus are like using brushes. And I just am terrible at using brushes, you guys. So you just kind of want to apply that all over your lid. Sometimes I make things really thick. But there's that. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, oh jeez, I'm looking at, I always do that. My Hip Duos in the color, ah, Charged, and I use this in my, like, shimmer makeup tutorial. Oh, shimmer, I don't know why I call this shimmer makeup tutorial. I'm kind of loopy. Anyways, um, so I'm going to take this lighter color here, and I'm going to apply that to the crease of my eye. Um, hopefully I don't look stupid. And then you can, let me look here. Okay, and then you can like kind of apply it in a V and then like patch a little bit on. You don't really have to do that. Um, you can tell I kind of did that there. Not much though. Just kind of pack that on. I really like this gold color because, I don't know, I just, I've liked it since I got that makeup for it. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this here and I'm going, this brush that I used earlier to apply it, I guess I need to be more specific, and I'm just going to blend it together a little bit. I know this might be weird, but I always apply my eyeliner, like, before I apply, like, the inner corners and the underneath side of my eyes. Um, with this eye, I honestly did this, and I don't know how big of a difference it makes, but... I'm gonna, I used my brown first on this eye over here, and then I looked at her makeup, and she looked like she had more black, so I'm gonna use the black, and I, my other eye might look a little different than this eye, how did this break? Tori, Tori, Tori. So, then you wanna like, make sure you get it down to like right into the inner corner of your eye, because Demi's makeup definitely goes to the inner corner of her eye and on the cover of her thing. And I'm just going to take this brown eyeliner. And I guess I didn't tell you guys what my black and brown eyeliners are. I always use these eyeliners because I'm a dork like that. And they are, I don't know what that was, the CoverGirl Pencil Perfect, Perfect Pencil. Oh my gosh, I do that every time. Perfect Point Plus. And this one, the black one is in the color Black Onyx. And... 
the um, brown one is in the color, I always forget this color, espresso. Okay, and I'm just going to apply this waterline and kind of smudge into my lash line. You can see that. So then I'm going to take my, I'm going to do the inner corner first, and I'm going to use another Hip Duos product by L'Oreal Paris, and this one is a crystal shadow, and it's in the color Mystical, and I'm going to take this light color here, because it's so pretty, and it's really shimmery. The corners of her eyes are kind of glowy and shimmery a little bit, and um, I don't like have a really pretty shimmer color because I don't have the hugest makeup collection. Oh my gosh, but I do have this. And this works. I mean, this is my first um, inspiring makeup tutorial, so it may not be the greatest because I may not be very good at inspiring myself from other people's videos. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, and then I'm going to take this last color here in the same um, CoverGirl quad and I'm going to just kind of put it underneath my eye um, like so here and now I'm just going to curl my lashes here okay I need to pay more attention to the camera how you doing okay um, I'm using a Maybelline New York Lash Curler. And then I'm just going to take this CoverGirl um, Professional Mascara. It's a blue packaging and it's in the color Black Brown because since this is a very um, bronzy thing, I don't want a complete black eye. I mean, black eye. <laughs> black eye <laughs> mascara. Whatever, Tori. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on my lashes here. Um, this is definitely not the mascara for like voluminous eyelashes or anything like that, but it works really good. And then I'm just going to put it on the lower lashes. I'm going to take my beautiful bronzer that I always use, and I should probably try a different one, but it's my CoverGirl bronzer, and it's Golden Tan 104. So then I'm just going to take this fluffy brush here, and instead of, I usually apply bronzer like all over my face but because we're looking for like this really pretty golden look I'm just going to apply it right through here on both sides of my cheeks and up into my forehead um it's way more thing. and then I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of dab it on my nose on my chin okay so for your cheeks they're a really pretty corally pink color they're both, as you can see, really, really pink. So I'm going to just, I decided, I'm just going to use both of them just because. So I'm just going to, I had a little bit on my finger, so I put it on. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my finger and smile. And this I'm going to focus mostly like on this area here. And slowly kind of bring it up to my temples. Um, this is definitely a pink color. Oh gosh, I got too much. My finger. So smile when you put your little blush on. Um, this is a really red blush. It's not like hers is a coral copper. I guess I would say like it's very glowy, coppery, coral. -y. And um, so I'm gonna take my powder blush, and I'm just going to smile and add that over it a little bit and bring it more up into my cheeks because I'm cool. And just kidding, I'm not cool actually. I'm pretty much the opposite. You guys are probably gonna think I'm a freak. But sorry, I'm like shaking you guys around a lot. Her cheeks are really just kind of a coppery coral color. Ow! I think I have a canker sore. I mean a cold sore. Mouth herpes! Okay, so um yeah, that was really weird. For her lips, she has a pink color and I think I might have the right color for this 
I usually apply lip balm before I put this on and I'm going to use my EOS lip balm. And I don't know, I think this is like summer fruit, but it's like the pinky red coral packaging. Oh my god, I keep looking at my mirror. Hi guys. Okay, so this is a pink lipstick and it's in the color Stormy Pink. It's a matte lipstick and it's the number 0, well, oh, 0 1 1 0 11 whatever and it's by Revlon and it's kind of a pinky pink pink <laughs> and I'm just going to put that all over my lips here. A really pretty lip liner would look really good with these lips but um, I don't have a pretty lip liner so yeah I guess I'm just sticking to the lipstick. Her lips aren't very glossy so that's a plus. I mean, it's not really a plus. If it was glossy, I'd probably use this, um, that's the wrong one. This Pink Pop by Revlon. It's a lip gloss, and if the lips were glossy, I would do that. But since they're kind of matte and stuff like that, I didn't do that. Let me know if you guys like this inspired look. Um, tell me if I was close to what you think she looks like. This is just, I guess... You wouldn't say it's completely like her look, like I think it's exactly what she looks like. No, it's just kind of a bra a different um, neutrally bronzy um, makeup tutorial that I liked. And if you don't think it looks anything like her, but you like the tutorial, then go ahead and try it out. It's drugstore products, so um, they're really easy to find if you're like me and you um, don't have any like MAC or anything like that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and because um, I know I enjoyed making it. So I'll see you guys all very soon, and make sure you check out my giveaway. I love you guys. Bye.